Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Scott McCoy. This video is the first of my tutorials on WordPress, where I will be covering how to build a WordPress custom theme and also how to build a WordPress website using Oxygen Builder. During the next few weeks, we will be working on three projects a multi purpose website, an online store, and an online learning website using LearnDash. Each project will be built in Oxygen Builder and also will be built as a custom WordPress theme. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave your questions in the comment section and I will surely answer them in my next video. Two years ago, I've created a free WordPress theme and a free Oxygen design set called Mare, which you will find links to in the description. As our first project, we will rebuild the Mare theme in Oxygen Builder and as a custom theme with a better design and more functionality. Now the first thing we need to do is to install Oxygen. Head to the plugins page, add new plugin and choose the zip file you downloaded through Oxygen website and click install. Once the installation is complete, click Activate Plugin, which will redirect you to Oxygen's dashboard. Here you can choose a blank install, so you can start from scratch, or choose a pre-made design set. Let's take a look on what's available. As you can see here, Oxygen has provided many design sets that you can choose from. Different looks, different categories. Here you can view the demo. You can check it out before installing it. When you install it, you get the complete design set with all pictures, boxes, buttons, everything in your current website. But we don't want to do that, we want to start from scratch. So let's go back, close other tabs, and go to the settings. Now because Oxygen has a lifetime update, you need to go to the settings and go to license, add your license key, and click save oxygen license that way whenever there's an update to oxygen you get it right away now because we want this to be a design set that other can install we need to check make the wordpress install a design set and save changes which gives us a site key that we can give to people now let's go to templates That's where all the work is going to start. So thanks for watching. In the next video, we will go through defining the global settings and styles, choose our global fonts and colors, define breakpoints for responsiveness, and start creating the header and footer sections. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and wait for my next video on Monday. Thanks for watching.